Uh, uh, great. Um, HT is doing a good job of, uh, you know, keeping me fresh and, yeah, feels great. How's the, do you feel like you've been consistent through the first, you know, six practices here? Uh, yes, not as consistent as, as, as I'd like. You know, I'm, I'm always trying to, you know, get better and there's always one or two punts that, that I'd like to have back, but um, I feel like I'm uh, getting better each practice. What kind of reaction do some of the uh, returners have to you? Did they say anything to you about what they're receiving? A little bit, um, especially like at first. Um, they had a bit of trouble catching it and stuff like that, but um, nothing, nothing too much. Is there one ball in particular that, that returners tend to struggle with? Seeing you for the first time. Uh, there's there's some balls, but uh, it's sort of like those balls can be harder to hit as well. And you know, if the miss hit on them is is a bad miss hit, so um, I can be a bit hesitant to to actually hit the ball. But there's there's some balls that are hard, like like a banana punt sort of drops and dips down to the right and stuff like that. How many? Uh, we we just talked to High Tower and he said you have a lot of clubs in your bag, so to speak. How many different punts do you have? Uh, I'm not sure. Each situation just calls for something different. I mean, depends where the wind's going, where you are on the field, what, like who the returner is, different stuff like that. So I'll just hit different balls. Just depends on uh, who's back there or you know weather and things like that. How, how many do you typically practice on the on the practice field? Uh, there's probably. You know, there's a there's a lower line drive as far as like a spiral. There's like a big a big hang time spiral. There's different Aussie ones where you f like uh, flips where you face one way, kick it the other, things like that. So I uh, can't put a number on it. But there, there was one you had yesterday that was seemed like it was spinning sideways and it almost knuckled a little bit that had it struggled with. What, what was that one? That was a bit of a shank. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of a miss hit. <laughs> Good yeah, I'll take it though. I mean, it had a lot of hang time. I'd love to claim it, but it was a bit of a shame. <laughs> Richard was talking about your relationship with Robbie Gould. What has he sort of told you so far just going through the process? Oh, lots of stuff. It's just great having a vet, like a, you know, a big time vet that is cool headed, sort of. Uh, at the very first thing was like, hey, you go out and have fun. Like, don't worry about expectations, go out, have fun like you're here for a reason and sort of it's good to have just sort of like a cool-headed guy uh, always around. Are there any punters in the NFL that you've kind of watched film on and kind of tried to learn something from? Yeah, I watch uh, basically every punter. Um, there's something to learn from nearly every punter. Um, different swings uh, about being like Thomas Morstead's real smooth and keeps his body straight and rarely miss hits a ball. So I watch lots of lots of guys, but yeah. What's it been like being a holder? I love holding. Um, at the start of my career, it was like the most nerve wracking part of the job. Um, but no, I've worked hard on holding and that's one thing like you can't punt every day, but you can hold every day. Um, you don't need to be fresh to hold. So I, I get a lot of reps at holding, and that's something I take pride in. And this, now that you've been with Robbie for only about a week or two, what's, does he give you any certain tips on how he wants? Yeah, well, he basically, he basically tells me the way he wants the ball. And uh, other than that, that's it. He, uh, he's, not a, he's not very picky, and he doesn't miss. So, <laughs> When's the first time you spoke to him? Uh, it was after he signed. Um, got a call from him. I, I was in Nashville and missed the call and called him back. And it was just sort of like, hey, like, let's get to work. I was congratulated him. He congratulated me, stuff like that. Was, were you, was it kind of awkward at all? Like, you know, you hadn't heard from him. You hadn't spoken to him yet. He's the, the kicker. You know, and he had the other stuff going on off the field as far as the, the contract stuff. Were you debating, you know, whether you reach out or wait for him to call or was there any of that? Uh, no. I mean, he, he called after he, um, like, HT was confident and stuff like that, and I was just, you know, working on my stuff, and he called once once the deal went through, and it, there, there was nothing awkward. Mm -hmm. I, would, I would have felt awkwardness. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He does right now. Yeah. 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 All right. When was
was the first time I actually got to work with him a little bit? With Robbie? Yeah. Uh, I think it would have been the first day, oh, okay. the first day of camp. I don't know for sure. I'm pretty sure we would have got some work in that day. At, at what point did you start m messing around with different types of punts? Uh, there's lots of different punts that you have to be able to do back home playing Aussie football. So you have to be able to punt on the run, use both feet. Um, there's ways you can make it curve right and curve left and if you're on, on like a tight angle trying to kick a goal from like... So there's different ways to sort of manipulate the ball's flight and stuff like that that you almost have to know as as, as an Aussie rules footballer. Have you gone into the stadium and, and kicked it all or checked out the wind patterns or anything yep. like that? Yeah, um, we were in there the other morning. Unfortunately, it was a really still morning and there wasn't much wind in there. Yeah. But uh, we'll uh, and I, and I went in there during OTAs, but we'll get out there uh, a few more times when it's you know a windier day. There's been some talk about your athleticism and your 40 time. Uh, do you get excited at all about you know potentially running some trick plays and making use of that athleticism? Uh, I'd love to do it. Um, th there's been a, a, like a bit of talk about it, but um, other than that, I'm just worried about you know focusing on hitting good balls.